In this problem, we're told a girl delivering newspapers covers her route by traveling three blocks west, four blocks north, and six blocks east. A, what is her final position relative to her starting location? And B, what is the length of the path she walked? So we're trying to solve for two things here. Let's just focus on A first. So I went ahead and drew what was going on. So we know they go three blocks to the west, right? So this is north, east, south, west. So they go three west, four north, and then six to the east. So how do we want to solve for this? So they're trying to find her final position relative to her starting location. So what's her final position? If she starts here, goes three, four, six, she's going to end up here, right? So what we're trying to do is find basically the relative position, meaning we want to find the distance between her starting to her final and then the direction she goes in, right? So this is what we're trying to solve for. So the way you want to think about this is like a triangle, okay? So it's going to be like a vector. And so what we're trying to do is if you imagine it like this, right? So I'm just going to redraw this triangle right here, over here. And so, right, do we know the lengths of these sides, right? We're trying to find this length right here, right? And we know by the, hyper, by the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? And you should know this. Essentially what this is is if you have uh, two sides of a triangle, you can solve for the other, right? So this is a, this is b, and this is c. You can solve for them by using this formula, right? So what we're trying to do is solve for c, right? We want to find c by using this formula, but we need a and b first. So what are a and b going to be? It's going to be this length and this length, right? Which on this triangle is just this length and this length, okay? And so do we know these lengths? So it's not told, but you can tell by the image what they are. So think about it. If we end here, which is six, right? So it's six, we go this way, right? But we went three this way, right? So if we want to find this length right here, right? This is just going to be three, right? Think about it. If this is three, three plus three is just going to be six, right? And this line is the same length as this one, right? So it has to be six, right? Or this has to be three. What about this one, right? So if you think about it, it's just like a square or sorry, a rectangle. And the height she goes up, she only goes up once and then she goes up four blocks, right? So this length right here has to be the same as this, right? So this has to be four. Right, and so we know that this is four and this has to be three, right? And so what that tells us is essentially, right, this is gonna be th three and this is four. And so by the Pythagorean theorem, what we're gonna be able to do, right, is just go ahead and solve, right? So let's just go ahead and solve for uh, the length, right? So you might recognize what a three, four, five triangle is. If you have three, four, this is automatically five, right? So this is automatically five if this length and this length are three and four, but we can just use the Pythagorean theorem to prove that, right? So this is A. This is B, this is C, right? So it's going to be A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? Which basically means if we square root both sides just to solve for C, right? Because we don't want C squared, we want C. You square both sides, it's just going to be A squared plus B squared, okay? So C is going to be equal to the square root of A. What do we denote A as? Well, it's this length right here, which is 3. 3 squared is just going to be 9, right? So this is just 9 plus B. B is 4, right? And so 4 squared, right? We're just following this formula. 4 squared is just going to be 16, 9 plus 16 is just equal to 25, right? So it's just the square root of 25, and you should know the square root of 25 is just 5, right? So the length is just going to be 5, and right, and we're measuring this in blocks, so it's going to be 5 blocks, right? So it's going to be 5 blocks, right? So we just say 5 blocks, but then we need the direction. So how do we solve for the direction? So we're trying to find this right here, right? And so the way you solve for direction, if you're given the x and y components, which essentially is just this is the x component, this is the y component, you can use tangent. So the arc tangent of y over x is how you solve for the angle, right? So this is the formula you should know. Uh, they're important for vectors and stuff like that. But essentially, you can just take the arc tangent of your y length, which in this case is 4, right? The y component over the x component, which in this case is 3 of our triangle. So you're just going to take the arc tangent of y, which is 4, over 3, right? So just go ahead and do this. The arc tangent. So arc tangent and on your calculator it's just going to be second tangent that's what you press to get that of uh, four divided by three so when you do this you're going to get 53 right so you're going to get 53 and i'm doing this in degrees so 53.13 right so make sure your thing is in degrees but 53.13 uh i'm just going to round so 53.1 and then this is in degrees so this is going to be the direction so you would say five blocks at 53 degrees 53.1 degrees sorry and then you want to specify the direction, right? So think about what they did was, this is going to be, we're going east, right? So we're going 53 degrees above north of, uh, of east, right? So what you say is 53 degrees north of the east direction. So five blocks at 53 degrees north of east. So five blocks at 53.1 degrees north of east. This is going to be your answer, right? So this is your answer to A. Now let's do B. So B is pretty simple. 
for B, they just want to find the length of the path she walked, right? So if we want to find the length of the path, we just have to add up the total amount she traveled in the beginning, right? So she goes three, so we have three, plus, and then she travels four, right? Plus four, and then she travels six, right? So this is just going to be three plus four is seven, plus six is just going to be 13. So 13 blocks, right? That's going to be the total length of the path she traveled, right? If you want to find the total length, you just add up all the segments. So 13 blocks, that's going to be your answer to B. But yeah, so length of travel is 13 blocks. This right here is your answer to A, and hopefully you found this useful.